so guys welcome to our channel once again today on our design biology revision series we are still on cell biology and today you will learn about stem cells so let us recall from our previous video that we explained differentiation as a process by which cells change to become specialized these stem cells can divide to produce lots more of undifferentiated cells which can then differentiate to produce different types of cells stem cells are found in human embryo and these stem cells are capable of differentiating into any type of cell so we basically see the few cells in the embryo turning into the several cells we have in adult human adult humans too also have stem cells but they are found just in certain places like the bone marrow and they are not capable of turning into any kind of cell they are actually specific so cells like your blood cells actually come from stem cells in your bone marrow so now in medicine the adult stem cell as well as the embryonic stem cells are used to cure diseases although this has its advantages there are also many risks associated with stem cell medicine for example stem cells grown in the laboratory can become contaminated with virus and so can be passed on to the patient and then make the patient become sicker well some persons are against the embryonic stem cell medicine because they feel that embryos should not be used for experiments since each one is a potential human life on the other hand some others feel that the life of existing human patients who are suffering is more important than that of an embryo so in some countries stem cell medicine is banned so in plants stem cells are found in the meristem which is where the growth occurs in plants so just like we mentioned in our previous class differentiation occurs throughout the plant's entire lifetime and then cells in the meristem tissue can differentiate into any type of plant cell these cells can be used to produce clones cheaply and quickly they can also be used for producing large numbers of disease resistant crops and also for growing and preserving rare varieties to prevent them from extinction so guys here is a practice question for your biology examination so feel free to pause this video and try it out So guys, we've come to the end of this lesson. If you are new to this channel, please ensure to join our Telegram channel using the link in the description of this video below to get instant updates and notifications for your exams. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends if the video was helpful. Also ensure to subscribe to our channel if you are not yet a subscriber. Thanks for watching.